Minus 15. Profi ignition. These were the first few seconds of what will be an ambitious seven-year-long mission to unlock the secrets of our closest star. Four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. Mounted on a Delta IV heavy rocket as high as a 23-storey building, the first objective for the NASA Parker solar probe was to achieve escape velocity of around 25,000 miles an hour. But eventually, as it nears the sun and enters its corona, it'll become the fastest ever man-made object, reaching speeds of 430,000 miles an hour, or 120 miles a second. Response looks good. So if you sort of think of the sun and the earth as a system, right now we don't know the physics that really is powering the solar wind. We know an awful lot about the sun and we know about the solar wind from spacecraft that sit even as close as Mercury. And so we need to get in there and explain what's really going on and then we'll be able to put all that physics into our models and we'll make such huge transformational improvements in our ability to predict how the earth is impacted by the sun. Its first port of call in November of this year will be the planet Venus, and scientists are confident that its first brush with the sun will follow in November. Protected by a revolutionary new carbon heat shield, the aim is for the probe to make 24 close approaches to the sun's corona. Now 50 seconds into flight. Strap-on boosters look good in the full thrust mode. It was 60 years ago that Professor Eugene Parker, after whom the probe is named, predicted the discovery of solar winds. But it's only now that technology has advanced enough to make such a mission possible. He and his family were at Cape Canaveral to witness the launch. He wrote a paper where he um, actually uh, predicted that we would see a solar wind. We would see this atmosphere continually streaming away from the planet, uh, from the sun and bathing all of the planets. And uh, his paper was kind of controversial at the time, but it turned into a landmark seminal paper that's really kind of given birth to all of the science that uh, we heliophysicists, as we call ourselves, um, that's what we do. It's all based on the work of Gene Parker. It's hoped the probe will reveal more about the sun's life-giving but often violent nature and why its corona is hotter than its surface, one of the solar system's great mysteries. Phil Edwards, Sky News.